But just as children survive uh, the idea of the a tooth fairy and Santa Claus when they become adult. I think that taxpaying citizens are quite capable of accepting the new and broader reality that we live in a cosmos teeming with life of various sorts. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. prepare you for what you're about to see, Mr. Mulder. Faraday cage? For what? Do you know what an ARV is? That's what you brought me here to see? This is Garner. He'll walk you through the science. That's an alien replica vehicle? Given your background, I would have thought you'd seen one. No, never. Not like that. What we're showing you, we do at great risk. Colleagues have had labs burned to the ground and work destroyed by our own government. spacecraft had a way to jump. It didn't fly from wherever it came from to here. It jumped. And he said that's all they knew, that there was a wave around the spacecraft that allowed it somehow not to be a spacecraft, but a time machine. the energy of the universe. You're talking about free energy? That we've had since the 40s. No fuel, no flame, no combustion. A simple electromagnetic field. Technology kept secret for 70 years while the world ran on petroleum. Oil companies making trillions. What I'm going to show you next is the most unbelievable part. Gravity warp drive, but how? Element 150, Unan Penti. Where did you get it? And uh, a document was prepared which uh, concluded that at least four species had been visiting Earth for thousands of years. And uh, I said, UFOs are as real as the airplanes flying overhead. That gave me the dubious distinction of being the first person of cabinet rank in the G8 group of countries uh, to say so unequivocally. <laughs>